Hello friends! Can you guess what I'll be doing for today? It's not a spin paint, but it's a digital art toy. Actually, this idea came from a friend of mine because a few weeks ago she asked me what a layer is. So I decided to make a video on layers and clipping mats. So let's get started! This is the layers panel and layers are like sheets of paper stacked over the other. But why are layers important? I have a single layer and I painted on it. I made a mistake and erased the other color, but suddenly the entire layer is ruined so I have to delete it. That's where unlimited layers come in. If you made a mistake on a certain layer, you can simply erase it or delete the layer without affecting the elements on the other layers. Now let's get back to the sketch. Why did I only paint a part of this hourglass instead of coloring it entirely? That's a good question because I'm going to duplicate the layers by hitting Command V on the mat and moving it to the other side. I use the same process of duplicating the layers with the roof but instead of Hitting the command V and moving it to the other side, I use the edit, transform, then flip 180 degrees to have the bottom part of the bar glass. This is another reason why I love using layers. It makes my work easier and it saves me a lot of time. I rename my layers so that it will be easier for me to locate the elements when I shade my work. How do you rename a layer? You double click on the layer then enter a new name for that certain layer. Oh no! I colored the ribbon on a single layer. What am I gonna do? That's okay because I'm going to duplicate the ribbon layer twice and erase the unwanted parts.
Now that I have the base colors of this sketch, let's add details to this piece by shading it using the clipping masks. Clipping masks are a group of layers which are clipped inside the base layers. I created a new layer on top of the base layers, then right click on the tablet, choose Create Clipping Masks. I painted on this image and it didn't overlap on the other elements because this layer is clipped onto the base layer. I changed the opacity of the clipped layer so that it would blend well with the base colors.
Clipping masks has a lot of functions, not only in digital painting. You can also use them on text layers, shape layers, image layers to name a few. And that is the power of the clipping masks. And that's all for today's video. I hope you learned a thing or two about layers and clipping masks. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell for more video updates. Thanks and I'll see you on my next vlog!